Tower, this is Captain Joey and his F-14 Tomcat ready for takeoff. You are clear, Captain Joey. Then let's go airborne! Hey, there's fresh powder on Mount Wittawa. Can you believe school got canceled? I'm gonna snowboard down Razor Ridge. Hey, Carl, over here! You just grounded my F-14. Hey, how come you're inside building airplanes when you could be out on the slopes? I've never skied before. I don't know how. Well, you're not gonna learn by staying inside. I like to snowboard myself. If you want, I could teach you. I don't know. Ah, come on. I've just never done it before. Look, I'll spend the whole day with you if that's how long it takes. I promise. Okay, deal. While you check out your equipment, I'll get our lift tickets. The two-for-one ticket, please. Thanks. Carl. Hi, Carl. Uh, hi, Margo. Rosa, where are you going? We're gonna ski down Turbo Run. Oh, I love that run. I'm great on the moguls. You wanna come with us? Sure. Uh, I'll have to take care of something first, though. Sorry, can't wait. Come on, Rosa. Oh, no, no, wait. I I'll be right back. This other thing isn't really that important. assignment for you three. Have a look. I'll spend the whole day with you if that's how long it takes. I promise. You want to come with us? Sure. Uh, I'll have to take care of something first, though. Sorry, can't wait. Come on, Rosa. Oh, no, no, wait. I I'll be right back. This other thing isn't really that important. Looks like Carl doesn't plan to keep his promise. Right, Sammy. Sometimes humans make promises and then break them when it's not convenient or fun to keep them. But God's message book tells humans, do not swear by anything when you make a promise. When you make a promise, say only yes or no. That seems like a simple message. Yes, it is, Sammy. But the humans have a hard time hearing it. I'm designating you as Wing Commander. I'll try to do my job wisely. I know you will. Keep these words in your heart so you'll know what's true. Come on, wings! There's Joey. And here comes Carl. Hey, Joey! You mind waiting a little longer? I have something else to do before we start your lesson. It won't take long. Maybe 20 minutes, okay? Great. Here's your lift ticket. But I... But boy, he works fast. Let's move out. You're just in time, Carl. We're almost at the front of the line. Hi. We're the Junior Ski Patrol. Just check in lift tickets. It helps us patrol the slopes. Okay, sure. Here you go. How about yours, Carl? Uh, uh, uh sir? Hmm, this is a two-for-one ticket. Where's your partner? Joey? Uh, he's waiting in the lodge for me. And you're leaving him behind? No, I'm gonna go with him. Later. Why not now? Well, me and the girls are going up to Turbo Run. It's pretty advanced. And Joey's just a beginner. Carl, before the snow melts, please. But if you promised him, shouldn't you? Trust me, he's a beginner. He wouldn't have fun. Gotta go. Wow, it's amazing how fast humans can break a promise. And how easily. Did you want me to meet you there? What if I meet you there? Don't look now, Sammy. Things just got worse. <laughs> On my way, Carl! Hey, I... Stop! I wanted to go up the other way! This is going to Razor Ridge! Come 
on wings, we need some inspiration. Let's review our message for Carl. But I tell you not to swear by anything when you make a promise. Heaven is God's throne, so don't swear by heaven. The earth is God's footstool, so don't swear by the earth. Don't swear by your own head. You cannot make one hair white or black. When you make a promise, say only yes or no. Gee, Sammy, I'm glad you're a wing commander on this one. Yeah, the words are confusing to humans. Heaven and earth and the hairs on your head? How do you explain it to them? I think it simply means that a yes or no promise is a real promise. But swearing by something is a convenient or conditional promise because it's only a promise if conditions suit the person who made it. Huh? Help me out here, Rachel. You make this into a snowman. And Josh, you make this into a boulder man. There, that's great. Now, think of the snowman and the boulder man as promises. The boulder man is a yes or no promise. The snowman is a conditional promise. They both look good to me. Not for long. I see. The snowman was the conditional promise. Because he could only stick around as long as the conditions were right. When it got hot, he had to melt. But the boulder man is 100% reliable. Like a yes or no promise. So Carl's promise to Joey was like the snowman. He only kept it as long as the conditions suited him. And that's what we're going to help him understand. To the slope, Swings! <laughs> okay. Okay, I can do this. Carl said it was easy. Hey, this isn't so bad. <laughs> Stay with Joey so he doesn't get too scared. I'll handle Carl. Right! Hey there! Are you all right? You tell me. Don't worry. We won't let you go. Another one of us is going to get more help. Oh, that was awesome! I need to catch my breath before the last section. Oh, you'll like it. It's the best. Hey, Carl. I'm glad I found you. About your friend. My friend? Oh, yeah, Joey. I almost forgot about him. Forgot? Didn't you promise to spend the whole day with him? Oh, yeah, sort of. But something more fun came along. What's wrong with that? Carl, God wants our promises to be rock solid. I guess my promise to Joey wasn't rock solid? He trusted you to live up to your word, but you didn't. And now he's stuck up on Razor Ridge. Oh, but that's the most dangerous run on the mountain. Hmm. Who knew the kid had it in him? Take me to him. I see him. Joey! Oh, Carl, am I glad to see you. Grab my hand. Good. Now let's pull you up. That's it. That's it. There! Way to go, Carl! Good work! You're safe now, Joey. Think you can follow me down? Will you take it slow? Yes. I promise. Oh, we made it. Thanks for saving me, Carl. You shouldn't be thanking me. I left you behind after I made a promise to spend a day with you. I'm really sorry, Joey. From now on, my promises are gonna be solid as rock. So, Joey, you made it down in one piece. I can't believe you went up Razor Ridge. I can't believe I came down. Come on, Carl, we're going back up. You don't have to stay with me if you'd rather go with them, Carl. No, I promise to stay with you all day, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Great, we can spend the rest of the day in the lodge, building paper models of new improved snowboards. Sound like fun? Mm, yeah, paper models. Swell. You know, Carl, speaking from a purely physics perspective, 
A paper snowboard is the same as a real snowboard. The aerodynamics definitely retain their integrity. Great job, Wings. Especially nice work, Sammy. Thanks, Paul. Once I got the snowman idea, it was all downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs>